but we're getting ready to pick Joel. You can't get him, babe. So look there. This is his favourite spot right now. No, honey. He does hug you. And he, he puts his head on your shoulder. Oh, poor boy. I have a soft side carrier. It's smaller than the other one. That we normally transport because I think it'd be better for him to be in a, a smaller one. Come on, up, up. Good, be your any. Oh, you heard that. I'm sorry, Nanny, you can't go with us. Oh, go see where Pappy's gone. No, you can't go. She wants to go. Okay. Okay, bribery of a bone. Forget it, Nanny. And so we need to check out this growth in his ear. He had a growth in his ear. It was taken out a month ago. Okay. Because um, we took him to uh, pause, mm -hmm. thinking he needed to be neutered, but it turned out it had already been neutered. It had just had been done recently. Okay. Unknown to us. So they took out the growth, and it's come back. Okay. Um, I was treating that with the garlic, turmeric, and honey. Mm -hmm. And it seemed to help, but I thought I should back off so that you could see it properly. Yes. Um, okay. It weeks a lot, we clean it twice a day, clean his face. Okay. His left paw, he started limping on his left paw. Okay. We don't know why, he will growl. Alright. He won't let me touch that. Well, we can check that out. And um, he well. has enlarged lymph nodes. Wow, he's got a big boy there, bud. Yeah, he's got huge paws. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll start off up front here. <coughs> He's become our dog's best friend. Mm -hmm. They go for walks together and it's so funny. Good job. Oh, and he keeps having a snotty nose. mass that is taken up most of the ear canal here yeah. on this left side. It weeps a lot. Yeah, a lot of debris coming out around that. Alright bud, here it's your arm. Thank you by something a little more room here in just a second. Good job. I know, Joe. It's okay. You've been a good boy. Yes, he is. You've been a good boy. Yeah, he does have some swelling and his lymph node is enlarged here. And Probably a response to an infection going on in his ears. So right, that's we right. Need so. Discharge. It's all right, Joe. Careful, his left paw is tender. But that's good there. He limps on it. He won't put weight on it. kept him indoor for the past couple of weeks because of the heat and everything and with his ear I was afraid of flies getting to it mm 
Actually, it's been four weeks now, hasn't it, that we kept them in? common thing that we see is a puncture or something like that that heals up but they're, they get a little infection underneath the skin. Okay. How long has he been lame for on that leg? Um, about a week. A week, okay. A week and a half, a week, or something like that. Alright, Joe. You're doing good, bud. Alright, yeah. I do do a topical free treatment with him. So we've got an infection in that paw that I think we can resolve pretty easily, okay? Um, the ear is a bit of a more difficult issue for him. Um, so he's got an infection in his external ear canal, but I, I think that's caused by this mass that is there. Yeah. And so the mass does not allow um, the normal function of the ear canal and probably makes it more likely for him to get an infection down in there. So while we, we can resolve the infection, I've seen these before and these animals typically have recurrent infections unless we find a way to remove the mass. Do you know what type of procedure they did when they removed it? Did they just they pluck just, it out? I think there? they just took it out. Because they're initially a spay and neuter clinic, you yes. know, because we had him there to be neutered, we thought, yeah. you know. I don't think they went to the base of it. Yeah, what it looks like to me, and I don't know this without testing that tissue, but it looks like a polyp, and polyps okay. usually start way down at the base of the ear canal, um, and then they grow out, to, and we see the, only the external um, side of it, but there okay. can be they can go rather deep. Um, there's a, a couple different ways we can try to approach this. It depends on where this, the base of this polyp is. There are some polyps that require uh, a pretty in-depth surgery to get to the middle ear canal to get to the base of it. Um, but if this is something we can um, remove the base without going into the the deeper part of the ear canal, then it could be potentially resolved with a, a more simple type surgery. But um, I think there's always that in the back of my mind of if this the base of this mass is down deep enough, then it would take a surgery to remove his whole ear canal to get that thing out of there, which is pretty in depth type right. surgery. Um, he does have a fever here, yeah, probably well, maybe. You know, associated with his infections. Um, I think step one of this should be healing up the infection in his ear canal and the infection in his paw. And I would like to do that with an antibiotic because yeah. I think that's what he needs here. And then as we get those resolved, um, we can talk about if we want to schedule a surgery for exploration of this ear canal and trying to remove um, this tissue. But there is a, a, a chance that even I can't remove all of the tissue um, and it, that a specialist would have to do a, a large radical type surgery to get that thing out of there. Um, so unfortunately with these types of things that is a possibility. The hope is that we would be able to put him under sedation and evaluate this thing and, and get the base of it because that's the only way it's not going to come back is if we get the base mm -hmm. of it. And I just don't know what would be required for that. Right. I mean, one thing we do don't you, know. Do you know roughly how much that would cost? Um, so for our surgery here, um, the the base surgery itself would be around. 200 to 220 dollars. Now, there are, I would recommend that we send that mass in for histopathology to see exactly what it is. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah. And that would be another 80 dollars to do okay. that. Okay. 
So, but I, I think that's once we get this in, infection resolved, that would be step number two because I think he's going to have recurrent problems with it if we don't try to alleviate that mess. Right. Okay. He, he jumped around even with limping mm -hmm. on the counter and down. Yeah. No, doesn't bother him. Yep. He's, he can get around. Yeah. He's, a, he's a tough boy. Yes, he is. No He'll give you a hug if you pick him up. Mm -hmm. He actually hugs you. So I've got a couple options for his antibiotic. We've got um, an oral liquid antibiotic that I think would be a good choice for him. It would be giving him this liquid once a day okay. for probably the course of 10 days to heal yeah. up everything in that ear. Yeah. Um, so if you'd let me do that, that yeah. would be probably my first recommendation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when you do that, I'll get that ready for you, Joe. Um, and I think that will, my main focus is making sure I clear up the ear infection, but that will definitely clear up that okay. paw as well and okay. take the swelling out of it. And how long do you think it should take for the paw to I think within to two to three days it should okay. be um, significantly better and you should be putting weight on it. Okay. And if it's not, what do we do? Well, I think you ought to give me a call give me a and call. let me know that okay. he's not coming around with that okay. paw there. Um, what about this nasally stuff? Is that be draining from his yes. ear? Yes, yes. That's yeah, I thought the lymph so. node, the There's nasally stuff, yeah. Yeah. is all associated with this big infection. In right, the, yeah. That's so. draining yeah. through his eustachian tube down to his yeah. mouth. Okay. Yeah. So he's got a little gurgly sound. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can hear it. Yeah. Are you going to check him for tape for worms? Yep, I can do a parasite yeah. check on him as well. <laughs> Just to be on the safe side, for we have sure. another cat and a dog at home, yeah. so. Sounds good. <laughs> well, we'll get you all fixed up here, Joe. Start your step It's one. okay, so, Joe. Um, I'm going to start setting these stool samples up, and I'm going to get him a, a little shot of an anti-inflammatory pain medication so he's a little more comfortable on that paw. Thank you. And then we'll um, I'll grab the liquid medication Thank and you. get that going. Beautiful eyes, Joe. Trace said you have beautiful eyes, and she's right. You do have beautiful eyes. He says I want to lift up, but I can't walk. Oh, oh, mommy, mommy. I do not see any parasites on that stool sample. Okay, so that's good. A good thing. Good. Um, so it looks like everything has been taken care of there. So keep an eye and let me know if you see any issues with that I stool. Will. So now, what I would like to go ahead. Can I ask you, is this collar big enough or should I get a bigger one? Um I, mean, I, I believe that drinks, is, yes, yeah. for it because we're just using it to keep stop them from, from scratching. Yeah. yeah traumatizing that ear so that in that case for that reason it okay. looks good to good. me. Good. Looks good to me. Um, I want, would like to do an antibiotic called Orbax. I'd want to do one milliliter once a day. Okay and so this is a one milliliter syringe. So we got okay good. I was going to say can you mark it if it's not a one mil syringe? <laughs> yep it is. So Cause... hopefully it'll be pretty simple. Okay you. good yeah. It's a poultry flavored liquid so um, Hopefully he'll like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully he'll like it. Let's do that for 10 days and get things dried up. Um, and then if, if 
Things are looking pretty good at that point, and we want to schedule surgery to try to eliminate that mass from that ear okay. canal. I think that's the next that's step. That's the next step. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Sure. You're welcome. Well, he's a very tolerant guy. He is. He's a cool cat. Yep. That's cool, right. A cool right. dude. Uh -huh. So, can I have your name, please? Yes. John Miller. I'm Dr. Miller. Dr. Miller, and he's Dr. Miller from the Dog and Cat okay. Clinic. Got a card. Wonderful, thank you. Yeah, sure. Okay. Good deal. Uh, you guys no, Waldo, you got the wrong way. <laughs> Good thing. I've never done it before. Good thing you don't put in a diaper on. <laughs> <laughs> you would have got it figured out eventually. <laughs> uh, you would have been. Don't look how you do when you put it on. It looks weird. Yeah. There you go. All right, you're.